Hello, I'm Olivier Tumin, team leader at the Interdisciplinary Institute for Neuroscience, a CNRS laboratory unit at the University of Bordeaux. In this video, I would like to introduce our new paper just published in PNAS by Garcia et al, where we report a mechanical coupling between the actin flow and n cadherin adhesions at the single molecular level in growth cones. In this study, we revisited the molecular clutch concept using micropatterning technology and single molecule imaging. Here is a growth cone migrating on a cadherin coated substrate. The idea is that actin treadmilling generated inside cells is coupled to substrate adhesion to generate forces and allow cells to move forward. Here is a growth cone expressing actin GFP showing slow retrograde motion from the tip to the base. Several publications have provided evidence for clutch mechanisms in different adhesive models including integrins and cadherins. However, the coupling process at the individual molecular level remains elusive. Optical tweezers experiments suggested a molecular clutch between the actin flow and n cadherin adhesions. In this movie, we placed a 1 micron bead coated with purified n cadherin on a growth cone. The bead transiently couples to the actin flow, then is recaptured in the optical trap for two times before it finally escapes. However, in those experiments, we could not achieve a direct visualization of the molecules involved. We cultured primary neurons on micropattern substrates coated with n-cadherin. Those substrates were obtained from the company site to specialize in this technology. Micropattern substrates promoted axonal growth, as shown on this image where n-cadherin microdots are in red and F-actin is labeled in green. When we zoom on a single growth cone, we see the accumulation of n-cadherin GFP on the n-cadherin coated dots here in red. Then we express a series of adhesion and cytoskeletal molecules all tagged with the photoconvertible protein MAOS2, allowing us to perform single molecule tracking combined to photoactivated localization microscopy, or PALM. This movie illustrates the motion of single n cadherin molecules as red spots in a growth cone highlighted in blue. Note the diffusive behavior and the occasional rest of the molecules on the micropatterns showed as white circles and corresponding to homophilic n cadherin adhesion. The adapter molecule alpha catenin behaves similarly, suggesting it forms a tight complex with n cadherin, whereas vinculin did not show selective trapping at n cadherin dots. In contrast, individual actin molecules move rearward from the periphery of growth cones to the central domain, reflecting the famous treadmilling process. We showed that actin molecules made transient interactions in the second time scale with the n cadherin catenin complex trapped at n cadherin micropatterns illustrated clutch engagement. We also performed FRAP experiments on GFP tag molecules accumulated at micropatterns, as shown here for n cadherin GFP. The slow recovery reflects the long-lived bonds formed with n cadherin ligands immobilized on the substrate. Alpha catenin behaved similarly, confirming that it forms a tight complex with n cadherin. We also performed Monte Carlo simulations of n cadherin and actin dynamics. Here is an example of the diffusive behavior of n cadherin molecules and their trapping at the micropatterns represented by squares. Note that molecules appear stochastically and shine for a limited amount of time because of photobleaching. Here is a simulation of actin dynamics where you can visualize transient pauses on micropatterns. We monitor the slow motion of actin filaments and barely distinguish the fast diffusion of actin monomers. By piling up thousands of individual simulations, we predict the enrichment of n cadherin and actin at micropatterns as shown here, similar to what was observed experimentally under turf microscopy. Finally, we simulated FRAP experiments by producing stacks of images that resemble fluorescence distributions. Here is an example of a FRAP simulation of n cadherin where the central pattern is photobleached and fluorescence gradually recovered. Note the strong analogy with the experiment, suggesting that our model parameters are correct. Here is a FRAP simulation of actin. Actin turnover rate was much faster than that of n cadherin due to the prominent actin flow. However, a 20% actin population recovered more slowly, corresponding to actin molecules trapped at the micropatterns previously identified by SPT Palm. Such combination of short and long-lived bonds between the rearward actin flow and the immobilized cadherin complex is likely to provide both adaptability for environment sensing and the force necessary for growth cone forward migration. These findings and the interface between biophysics and neuroscience may be extrapolated to other adhesion and cell types and should thus be of high interest for a broad readership. I want to thank all the authors of this study, in particular Michael Garcia, and I thank you for your attention.